Come to my next example. Okay, let's take a look at example three, example four. Uh, example four. So I'll use this, uh, this clip to finish these two example. Okay. So uh, we'll run through the steps again. <coughs> Example 3, how do you find the length W? How do you find the length W? So firstly, I label the triangle first. Let's label it. So I look for hypo first, always label hypo. Then after I label the opposite. Ah, this reference angle, so look opposite it. Oh, so W is opposite. Last but not least, adjacent. Adjacent is the line that touches both the 90 degree and the reference angle. All right, it touches both the 90 degree and the reference angle. So now I ask myself, what do I have? And what am I trying to find? What do I have? Let's take a look. I have 5 cm, means I have adjacent. What am I trying to find? I'm trying to find, am I trying to find hypo? No, right? I'm trying to find W, right? W is opposite. Ask yourself, which trigo ratio ties them up? Which trigo ties up these two opposite and adjacent? Is it OH? No, right? Is it uh, adjacent and hypo? No, right? Is this one, right? Tangent. Tangent ties up both opposite and adjacent. So this tells me that tangent, okay, this for example 3, yeah. so tangent of an angle, tangent 56 degrees, is equals to, this right degree, yeah, must write degree, equals to opposite over adjacent. <coughs> so tangent 56 is equals to, so opposite is W, and then adjacent is 5. So this tells me that W is equals to 5 tangent th uh, 56. So punch your calculator, everybody, how to punch? Let me show you one more time. So over here, right, you punch 5 times, or 5 tangent, just 5 tangent, T-A-N, not tan, it's tangent, press tangent, 5 T-A-N, then 56 equals. Okay, so it's 7.41. So 7.41 CM. Round 2, 3 SF. Length is always 3 SF. Okay, moving on, my last example, example 4. Okay, so again, label the triangle. I'm trying to find K. So label the triangle, opposite, uh, op always label the hypo first. Next, label the opposite. Oh, since this is the reference angle, this must be the opposite. Then adjacent. Adjacent is the line that touches both the right angle and the reference angle. Next, what do I do? Ask myself, what do I have? What am I trying to find? What do I have? What do I have? I have opposite. What am I trying to find? I'm trying to find K. K is adjacent. So far, so good. So which trigger ratio ties them up? Which trigger ties up opposite and adjacent? Let's take a look. Hey, it's tangent again. So tangent. So tangent. 25 degree equals to opposite over adjacent. 6 over K. 6 over K. Is that okay? So this is the same as over 1, right? Is that you cross multiply? So this is K tangent. 25 degree equals to 6. Let me ask the class. How do you think it tangent 25 is just a number, right? You punch your calculator, tangent 25 is just a number. How do you get rid of it? You bring it down as a, remember I talked about this, bring it down as a denominator. Okay, so K is equals to 6 over tangent 25 degrees. Then what do you do? You punch your calculator. Okay, so take your calculator. You punch 6 over, you can press divide. Okay, normally I put bracket lah. Then tangent 25. Put tangent, T-A-N, then put 25. Close bracket. Equals to 12.9 uh, cm. So 12.9, 3 SF. Huh? K equals to 12.9 cm, 3 SF. Okay? So I hope everybody uh, had a good lesson. You understand the examples that I'm doing. I hope you... Uh, understood how to apply your trigger ratio to find length okay of a right angle triangle thank you